had the uh, rehearsal in Elston Week and then drove back to do the solo gig in Bacchus Marsh. I'm enjoying these solo shows because they're really getting me comfortable being in that headspace, being like performing and singing and um, something that I haven't done for a very long time. Just arrived and set up and then start playing. It's a nice little little pub, so yeah, here we go. I'm just trying to also do that more and uh, and yeah, I've got a few gigs coming up in that in that setting, so it's really really good for me. Good practice and I listened back. I don't know if this is going to be of any help, but um, yeah, I, I feel like I'm usually pretty happy about the stuff that I put out and I've got a very good headspace about things. And But yeah, that wasn't really the case yesterday. Um, I felt like um, that side of me that's quite critical of myself at times ca came out yesterday and I listened back to the, re the recording of the gig yesterday and just like it was okay <laughs> but just wasn't up to my standards of what I expect of myself and I guess like sometimes and this is a very common thing that I've experienced you know walking off stage or walking away from a gig walking away from a like rehearsals are okay but mainly gigs and, and just feeling like you just really did a shit job and and that you know just like I you know I've beaten myself up about it like you know Julie you should that wasn't that for good you know you should have done better and, and I know there's a lot of people that experience the same thing because I've had these discussions um, with people that I've studied with with people that I've been uh, playing with outside of those rainbows in my mind When I think of you sometime I want to spend some time with you Just the two of us We can make it if we You know, a lot of us, uh, there's a theme with musicians and artists is that where a lot of us are perfectionists, where a lot of us really expect high uh product quality sort of results and that's not always the case especially when you're in the development stage especially when you're still um when you're not there yet and I guess that's part of the process right and doing a solo show isn't my hasn't been my primary focus for a long time so to all of a sudden go back into it and expect these extremely high <laughs> have these extremely high expectations of myself is really, uh, you know, it's quite harsh and it's fairly unrealistic and I need to allow myself to, I need to allow myself to have the time to develop and get better at it. And so I listened to the recording, wasn't happy. Uh, and you know, that's just basically the result of not having enough time to practice this week uh, because, you know, drums will always be my primary focus and I can't, that's just like out of the question in regards to practice. Like I have to, that's number one. So everything else, uh, you know, it will take longer for me to get better at. Very aware of, I just need to be mindful of that and know when I hear things back and, you know, and I hit, didn't hit those pitches right or I didn't, um, you know, phrase things the right way in the song or, um, that's okay. Oh, I hate saying that, but it's, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Thank you.
I've experienced these feelings many times walking off stage and that feeling of, you know, just not feeling good about it and thinking about it for like ages and just going over and over it of how I could have, it just gets, you get stuck in time and it's just really, um, not a good feeling. And, um, yeah, so how to, how to get past that and move on and, you know, uh, I really think the only way is more practice, <laughs> more practice, get back on stage and surround yourself with people that are going to encourage you and push you in the right direction or point you in the right direction, uh, guide you in the right direction and encourage you with the, you know, that want to see you succeed uh, because that's really, a lot, like I could have not got this far within myself and my personal development as a musician if I didn't have the right people guiding me, absolutely would have not been the case. And that's been the, the underlying theme in the progression of my music, my confidence is that I've had the support and it's come and gone in different, uh, in different ways. It's not always been the same type of people. It's all, it's, it's come, but I can, you can feel it and it's everything. It's really everything. And so I guess if you're, if you're having those experiences when you're coming off stage and, you know, have someone there that can give you constructive feedback um, or just be able to sort of bounce ideas off so you can get better for the next, the next time around. And, but you also got to really try and work hard. It doesn't just come, it's not like, it's not magic. It's not going to appear uh, by the next gig if you do no work to instill that within you. Um, so yeah, just some thoughts about that. I've just been, yeah, sort of all come up yesterday and um, like it wasn't a bad gig. Like it definitely was good, but I, yeah, not to, to the standard that I would like to be at. So some thoughts, um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep working on it. And I've got, you know, gigs book for the rest of the month next month which is pretty damn awesome so I've got no excuse it's it's gonna get better I just know it I know it because it's uh I'm excited about it and my intention has been set like I've set that I've made my mind up you know I'm gonna work at this but I just need that I need to allow it to develop um with a little bit of a longer time frame than I'm used to because I yeah I just tend to want everything to now <laughs> which doesn't always work so have patience around making mistakes and things not being perfect yeah so hang in there guys and just keep working at it keep developing your developing your uh your skills your technique your stagecraft, your stage presence, and it gets better uh, with time. Yeah, if you've liked today's content, uh, it'd be great to see you like and subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow, because I'm uploading every day. That's a thing now. Uh, yeah, pretty exciting stuff. <laughs>